Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Michael Blum Show. Another little bumper I wrote. This one's called Midlife Crisis. Hope you enjoy it. Feel free to give us a phone call tonight. It's 800-699-0980. Again, 800-699-0980. Um, I've been reading a couple of articles by this guy. I have to mention his name is Victor David Hansen. I, I think he writes really, really, really well. <clears throat> and <clears throat> this article I thought was really worth uh, talking about and creating a conversation over. Because um, basically what he was saying basically is, is that politics has fallen into such... Uh, an abyss is, is, are his words, but it's it's full into the crap hole that it is now, and it seems to govern govern itself somehow, whether or not the laws of the United States are enforced. It doesn't seem to be that the laws are all that important anymore. You know, it's like for instance, federal law states that the president can, by proclamation, all he has to do is say it. You know suspend the entry of all aliens or any class of aliens as immigrants or non-immigrants and impose on the entry of aliens any restriction he may deem to be appropriate. So, oh, we can't have him do that. He said something bad about Muslims. Well, they're the people that are actually killing us, aren't they now? I mean, of course, we have our own homegrown loonies that are completely different, but that's not what we're talking about. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about some guy shooting up a gay nightclub in Orlando and killing almost 50 people. And uh, the, uh, the gay establishment there tries to play it down because he's a Muslim. So, you know, uh, it does seem that we are basically becoming rather lawless. You know, so if the federal law says that, then what is the problem? Some guy who was never elected, who happens to be a judge, a federal judge appointed by Obama in Hawaii says, I don't like Trump. I didn't like what he said before the election, and I'm not going to allow this law to, to be established. Well, who, the f who are you? I didn't elect you. No one elected you. Where do we come from that so far that now we have uh, as much power as being handed to bureaucrats who have been appointed by people that were never elected, and, and, and they decide what's going on in this country? Shouldn't there be a review? Well, there should be. And there are a couple of laws that the... Uh, that are going through the uh, House right now, well, I don't think I'll get to them, but maybe some other time, um, that actually would be pretty damn good in trying to drain the swamp and get rid of some of the gridlock. But again, you have to have people in the establishment realize that their goal is not to further the establishment and the bureaucracy. Their goal is to help the people of the United States. And they should come in and then leave. Term limits, let's get them going. I mean, I would love to see that too. But... Um, so I answered here. This is it. And the logic. This is he's talking now about. Uh, this is a uh, Victor again. Victor David Hansen. He's talking about the logic in this ruling from the district court judge Derek Watson, which he struck down the travel ban after it's obviously extremely legal for Trump to do whatever he wants. As a matter of fact, how this reads is that basically Trump could tell them to go jump in a lake and do whatever he wants because they are in violation of the law, not him. There are fully some 500 sanctuary cities and counties have decided for political reasons that federal immigration law doesn't apply. But you don't like that law. It doesn't apply here. In a way, it sounds basically that they don't want to become part of the United States anymore, does it not? I mean, if you're part of the United States, what does that mean? If you're part of the United States, what that means is that you, you have a, a certain esprit, a spirit about being an American, which a lot of these guys don't have. I mean, a lot of the Democrats don't even have. So <laughs> that's the problem with it. But uh, it almost, you need to go ahead. If you're a citizen here, you need to follow the laws of the country. Isn't that someone who, to me, once someone asked me once, what's an American? American is someone who follows the laws of the Constitution. End of story. It's pretty simple. If you do that, you're an American. If you follow some other law or decide you're going to take this one as good and this one is not good and this one happens here, then, you know, then, then you're going to really, you are going into the abyss. You're going to go ahead and, and find that you're not going to have much of anything really uh, worthwhile in your life at some point in time. So now you have also here, you have sanctuary cities. They're going along with the judge, you know, like, well, Trump can't do what's in the law. You can't enforce the existing laws. And, uh, and the sanctuary cities say, well, we don't care about the federal law. Uh, we're going to do, do whatever we want to do. So basically, to me, they've ceded from the union already. I mean, they're seceded. They're done. They're gone. So I don't think this government should give them squat. 
Um, it's unbelievable. It is illogical, moronic, and stupid to think that your country will survive if its immigration plan is let's open the border up and let someone, come, anyone who wants to come in, come in because, after all, they're citizens of the world and we've been so bad to so many uh, countries and we deserve all this. We're not a, there's, no, there's nothing unique about the United States. This is the democratic uh, mindset. So for them, I guess it's okay. Federal law forbids the IRS from targeting private groups unfairly due to their politics. That's against the law. This country doesn't seem to care. Lois Lerner pleaded the Fifth Amendment 50 or 60 times and, it, and faced no legal consequences at all. So breaking the law now is becoming a big deal. Breaking the law seems to be something that's okay as long as you have some social justice justification for all of this and then it's alright. Just like Hitler did with killing Jews. I mean, people would say, how can such an advanced society kill a whole group of people? Well, you just have a mindset, and uh, basically it's not that important for them to be around, and they're animals, and they're, they're different. And uh, we can go ahead and break that kind of hu humane uh, law of, of killing, your own uh, killing other people. You know, we can break that too. So here, we have the IRS says, well, you know what? We don't like those groups. We're going to target them and audit them. That's against the law. You can't do that. But just like that's against the law, and sanctuary cities are against the law, and that, uh, and stopping Trump from uh, from doing the law is in essence terrible and to be a breakage of law. It's unbelievable. You know. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. It says that uh, uh, that. Uh, Nicholas Kristof uh, was to invite the IRS employees via social media, and they unlawfully leaked Donald Trump's tax returns. Someone asked for them. Someone asked, if you have these, give them to us. Why do we allow people, if you have illegal weapons, I'd like you to give them to us. It's against the law. It's against the law to release the tax forms, too. Why do we let the media get away with that? Now they claim, oh well, it's for, you know, it's a, a First Amendment. We can speak. This is not speak. This is you soliciting people to break the law. It's got to stop. It's ridiculous to think you are going to have any type of civilized society if this is what you allow it to 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 wind up being. If this is what it devolves into, it's unbelievable. Um, let's see, there's, there are statutes that prevent federal intelligence agencies, of course, obviously from leaking documents. So how do we know about Flynn? How do we know about Flynn if someone wasn't surveilled in the Trump administration? Because he was one of the Trumpers. The roundabout reason is, well, he was talking to a Russian guy who we would always surveil. So, okay, that's fine, and that happens all the time, but those people are masked. You don't know who they are. Who unmasked them? Why is this a difficult question? I mean, I understand. Why is this a difficult thing to do? I mean, who unmasked these guys? Someone did. Someone somewhere, some probably low-level bureau bureaucratic uh, uh, FUD that was placed in there by Obama decided to release them and broke the law. But the law doesn't make a difference in the United States anymore. Just come on in. We'll go ahead and give you money and you can act illegally and commit crimes. And if someone says something about it, we'll just call them Islamophobic. Because that's, that's how it is now. That's how it is. Leakers obviously feel that, that prosecution, they don't care about prosecution from courts. Because a lot of people are not following laws and none of this is actually happening. So basically what happens is, well, you know what, we follow the laws that we like. And to some extent people do that all the time. If you're not in a state but that allows you to smoke marijuana, you may decide to break the law and do that. But that affects you, not your community necessarily. Unless, of course, you go and then drive, drive that way and stuff like that. So it's, it's a little crossover. But basically, basically, people do break laws if it, if it does suit them, but not at this level. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is really ridiculous. It says that at this late date, to return to legality and respect for the law seems to be extremist and revolutionary. Which is kind of funny, isn't it? Now when you say we should enforce laws, there's something wrong with you. Don't believe this stuff. This is how I open the show up with it, and I, I may even close with it. But don't believe this stuff. Think the way you think because you know that it's clear and you have clarity in your own mind and your own thought. You do not have to kowtow down to anyone. You do not have to go ahead and become a victim because that's 
the game that they play. Let's figure out how we can classify you, ID you, and make you a victim, and, uh, and, and, and this way we can take care of you from cradle to grave, and <clears throat> uh, just like they do in, in China. That's how they do it in Venezuela. Oh, excuse me. That's, I don't think what, anything's going on there right now. Cuba, same way. Cradle to grave. Russia, work great. I think we're all ready for that, aren't you? Well, that's all we should do. So this is give it all up. Let the Democrats run it. Become a communist country. And we can just sit around. Uh, Margaret Thatcher, though, unfortunately said it pretty well when she said that the thing about socialism that eventually run out of other people's money to spend. Because that's the idea, you know. I work my ass off and I'll make my money and I'll give it to you. You give it who, to someone who doesn't, basically, is kind of how it is. Um, uh, but... Um, we have to assume that at some point in time that law enforcement does make some type of a change and does do something about this because little stuff becomes big stuff. Breaking little laws becomes breaking other laws. So, for instance, another thing, and this is a, I had an article on it a week or two ago, but I'll remember whatever I can from it. Uh, but um, this had to do with a, a talk show host, Michael Savage, and he was just eating at a restaurant, and someone came up, started to scream at him, Wiener, 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 because his, his real name is Michael Wiener, not Savage. And his talk show is the Savage Nation. And he's a pretty mean, na angry guy, i got to tell you that. I, I like a lot of what he says sometimes, and a lot of it I just, I can't, I don't, just can't listen to it. He's not really my favorite. But basically these guys then started to push him and, and, and smack him. These are, they knew who he was. They knew he was pro-Trump, very, very pro-Trump, and they smacked him. So what happens with that? You see, if it's okay to break laws, people then will start to do that. Okay? Just like we had some guy on last week who was trying to uh, kind of uh, associate that the, the Black Lives Matter is as kind and wonderful as like the Girl Scouts, you know, or some, some nonsense like that. And I was just laughing, uh, and I, I should have been more forceful with him, but I mean, but sometimes it doesn't make sense to argue with someone who's an idiot. Um, but anyway, um, these, it, once you start to do things on a slower level or a, a micro level, and I'm not saying that any of these are, but it'll, breaking the law, when people of the United States start to see now, well, he's an Islamophobe, uh, so he doesn't really count, and I'm going to smack him in the head. Just break the law. So what? And these are the types of things that really, really do need to change. They really do need to change. Again, I'd like someone to give me a call if you're out there and want to talk about anything. 800-699-0980. Again, that's 800-699-0980. And we can get into this next piece here. Let's see. Let's see if we will. <clears throat> I don't see anyone calling me. I'm still waiting. I got to make sure my phone system's working. Someone's got to help me out here. Okay. You know, I think then what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this, I think, for another show. I think I will save this for another show because I'm going to, and if no one's giving me any calls, I am going to curtail this show. <clears throat> I was going to talk about um, some other kind of crazy things that happened with transgendered folk this uh, week. I could do a little bit of that. Well, this is, let's see. This is a great one. This, this is going to become a longer show now. <laughs> Again, 800-699-0980. 800-699-0980. So we have, a, um, we have an inmate here who was uh, arrested uh, many years ago and sentenced to life in prison for murder. Real nice guy. Okay, and he sued the, the government because he decided he's a woman. So he is the first person in the United States to get taxpayer uh, subsidized, taxpayer funded sex reassignment surgery. And because now he's a man, he couldn't be in the woman's prison anymore. No, 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 I'm getting this backward. I'm sorry, because he was, I'm sorry, he's now a woman, okay? He, because he was a man, now he's a woman, so he needs to go to a, woman, a woman's prison. I get confused sometimes when they say transgendered man. I don't know if that means it's a man that wants to be a woman or is a woman, or if that means that the man is transgendered 
to become a man. I, you know, so anyway. But anyway, this woman is very upset now. She was a man. She had this tax subsidized thing. She sued the sued the, the government to get it done, and now she's a woman. She's pissed off because she doesn't like how she's being treated in the female facilities. She says they're torture units. They're terrible. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Maybe she should consider being a man again. I mean, if you know, you felt like a woman today, you could feel like a man the next time around, you know, and uh, maybe, uh, maybe you could do that. I don't know. But that is kind of weird to me. Um, and I am going to take my, my original lead, folks, and I am going to end the show a little bit early because I'm not getting any phone response, and I really do want to check that out and do that. Um, I'm going to, let me see, I'm going to go out with a tune. Let's see, two, what do I have here? And again, I have to play with only my stuff. Okay. Tree hanging in my room. Okay. All right, this will be cool. Uh, uh, by trade, I am a dentist, so I did write a song called Tongue in Groove. Um, it won an award when I first put it out. Uh, it's called the Cakehead Award. Uh, don't go looking it up. It's not that important. But anyway, I'm going to take everyone out on that tonight. Thank you for joining me this evening. I had a great time. I hope you did, too. We're going to do this whole thing again next week, and uh, look forward to speaking to you then. Oh, and by the way, everything in life is possible. A fewer things are probable. But one thing is certain, and that is that you are alive. So go ahead and live your life to its fullest. Don't let people tell you how you must think. Because tomorrow is not promised to anybody. Anyway, have a wonderful week.